everyone. So I have something fun for you guys because right here, if you didn't see my vlog, I found these Brooks shoe boxes that as a runner, I use shoe boxes, I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of things like, so anything from my past that was like a memory in some kind of way, I would like put in this box and I have like two or three of these boxes and then if it's actually interesting, I'll post this video. I don't even know if it's gonna be posted, but I'm filming anyway. So let's get to seeing what's in the box. So first thing that I saw right away was my jersey for being a runner at UF, which, all right, that's cool. Like I, <laughs> um, I think I might have, I think I was supposed to kind of give this back going so <laughs> this is another thing I saw and it's a uh, the letter that Santa gave me when I was 16 years old yeah my mom still thinks that she needs to put to Santa but so she gave me a necklace for my birthday like a couple months earlier that I didn't really like and I returned and so I was really hoping because I had just turned 16 in October that on Christmas I was gonna get a car and she told me, like, I don't know, Sarah, we'll see. So anyway, she did this whole poem, but how mean of her because she said, um, so I wanted to get you something extra special, something that you would never forget because I heard you returned all your birthday necklaces and never replaced them. I had trouble deciding between silver and gold. I chose silver. And I thought, oh no, she got me another necklace. <laughs> and then, I go outside and there's a silver Scion TC out there. So here's my card for when I got my first car. And there's a telephone ringing that no one ever answers. Why do we even have a home phone? I don't know. Okay, next. <laughs> These are cute. These are TBT2 first day of school photos. Like, there's me in the middle. I was a little chubster. <laughs> and these, these are all of like, these are my two next door neighbor friends. Um, they're sisters, they're both actually getting married this fall, so I'm a bridesmaid in both. And here I am, just hanging out. Anyways, here is a race number for the color run that me and my friend did in college after I stopped running and we just like literally walked it slash halfway jogged. I literally brought my entire big Nikon camera the whole run, so you know that it wasn't that serious. Um, okay, so here's a fun one. Do you guys remember these bracelets? <laughs> this is from, I don't know when. <laughs> I don't even know why I would ever wear this. I guess I was in a weird stage at some point in my life. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, TBT to live strong bracelets because, I don't know, I used to wear these all the time, did you guys? Um, all right, so here's a cool picture. This is when I thought I could be a model. <laughs> so, did any of your friends and you, when you were younger, take like photos like in bedrooms and stuff, thinking like trying to be kind of like be a model. Like, let's just like zoom in on this really quick. It's quite interesting. Look at that face. Like, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. Um, anyways, so there's there's that photo. Um, okay, so this is actually a really great story. Um, so this is a boy named Grayson from my Doe River Gorge camp. I went to this camp when I was in 7th and 8th grade called Doe River Gorge. It was like outdoor, going whitewater rafting, blah, 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 like hiking, mountain climbing up in North Carolina. And this, so everyone asked me like, what do I want to name my kids? My bo One of my boys' name is going to be Grayson. And I just love the name after meeting this kid. I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a cute name. And you know how usually you, get, you like meet someone that ruins the name? Well, I've never met another Grayson, and this was just a cute, like sweet little friend of mine at camp, and his name was Grayson, and I'm gonna name my kid Grayson. So if you're out there, Grayson, <laughs> you're the reason why I wanna name my kid Grayson. And then there's just like some other photos of camp. Um, tickets to like all my football like home games from Florida. And then I have a Bucks football game because we went on a date function with my sorority. Not too fun. 
So here's a Valentine letter from my ex-boyfriend when I remember going into the locker room as a student athlete my freshman year and there was like a teddy bear and chocolates in my locker um, with a card and everything and like it was from him. So that's a cute little memory I guess. Um, okay so here's TBT to when I used to think it was like funny to like say blonde jokes and like I don't know, I would make fun of myself for being a blonde. I thought I was like so cool. Like, I literally had an AOL screen name called True Blonde. Um, yeah, that's embarrassing. But I had this blonde detergent formula and basically like it's powdered body wash and it's called like extra ditzy blonde detergent. And I thought it was like so funny. I don't know, stupid little things like that. I don't know if you guys are even enjoying this, but I am. And here's a cute little memory. This is my jersey I won the state race in in high school. So there's my little white Fort Myers High jersey. TBT to duct tape wallets. Um, did anyone else have one of these? Because I thought it was really cool to make them and like there's little pockets and everything. Yeah, okay. Oh, here's a great one. Old student IDs. Let's just look at this close up, guys, because I, went, I was like going gothic or something. <laughs> so good old evangelical Christian school ID. And along with that comes stickers because I thought it was cute to, I don't know, order, you know how you could order like pictures of your school photo and stickers? Yeah, well I, I still clearly had some. Um, another race tag. What's this? Okay, so this is really cute. This is a card from my sister when I was in high school and she was up in Tallahassee going to Florida State. And it, towards the end of the letter, it, it just, it was like talking about, come to Tallahassee soon. It was like, and then she wrote, don't let anything get you too down. You're almost to the end of a very hard battle. So keep strong, I know you can. If you ever need anything, you better call me. I love you so much. And that's for my sister when I was back. This was literally from sophomore year of high school because she said like, you're the, you're the sweetest 16 year old. So I was a sophomore in high school, and that's when like everything was going on, like my eating disorder and all my family issues. So that was that's like a really cute card. Um, and then this is this is funny. In five years, this was at the beginning of high school. I see myself finishing up college and starting law school. <laughs> I hope to have found a great guy that I'll marry and later start a family of my own. <laughs> but too bad that. Number one, I switch my major. I'm not going to be a law. I'm not going to law school. I'm becoming a registered dietitian, um, and I uh, found a great guy. Heh. Nope, that one still hasn't happened either. There are so many other things in here. Maybe I should make this like a continuous thing because I don't know. Well, I'll do this last thing. Okay, so this is a running log journal. Like, look at all these pages, and every single week I would write what. I would write like what I ran. So like let's just talk about, um, oh my gosh, this makes me feel terrible about myself because I don't, don't run anymore. And here I had 48 miles in this week. <laughs> Monday, got chased by a dog. Workout on own. And it's like an 800, 400, 800, 400, 800, 400, 800. And that was six miles because I did two mile warm up and one mile cool down. Tempo with Pat, which is this guy I trained with in the PM. Two mile warm up, three miles at 6.20 pace, and one mile cool down. Morning, I had a four mile run in the neighborhood, so that was a 10 mile day. Wednesday, run with Pat at 6.40 pace. These are off days now. <laughs> a run, four mile really fast run with Pat was my off day. And then Thursday, AM run on own, four miles, and then PM bridges which we don't have hills here in Florida, so I would run up and down bridges, and that was five miles worth. Friday, easy before race, four miles, easy. <laughs> that would be so accomplished if I ran four miles right now. Um, UF Invitational, oh, that was like the race at UF. Um, felt tired, whole race with a sad face. Got 18.59, fourth overall. Team got third, seven miles because my coach made me do a three mile cool down. <laughs> And then long run Sunday of eight miles. Mom biked with me, fastest eight ever. Legs were so sore when I woke up. Somehow still run 54 minutes and 20 seconds, 6.45 average. Could never do that anymore. 
So, I don't know, it's really cool to look back at these things. I, it's so funny, I forgot I even did this. And then there's like a schedule of our race schedule on the back. I don't know. It's so cool to see everything I used to do. 53 miles this week. Ugh. Anyways, I don't want to make this video too long, so I think I'm going to stop there. And I'm just going to keep doing this every once in a while and keep sharing things from my past. And maybe stories will come along with it. I don't know. Do you guys like that? Oh, wait. I don't know. I'll save that for next time. That's really funny. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, click the thumbs to show your support and let me know that you want to see what else is in this box slash the other two boxes. Also, comment below what your favorite thing was that I shared from this box so far. And really, guys, like, let me know if you want me to keep doing this because I don't want to post more videos if you don't want to see them or if you didn't like this video. That'd be awkward. Okay, so till next time, bye guys. <laughs>